and having somebody to sit there and talk to you and stick your finger and show you an A1C of 11 point something. It was a wake up call and it it scared me into something's got to change. I'm not going to be here if I don't do something. I won't be here to see my son grow up. work as a decentralized model at okay. St. Clair. We have a pharmacist in each patient care area okay. and we're responsible for order entry for those patients as well as whatever um, clinical services that we're monitoring in for those particular patients. Um, and so they would help me, you know, they'd jump in, take over my orders, they would pick up um, the clinical stuff. So in addition to um, giving them the lot training at front and sending them home with materials, we said, here's a 1-800 number to reach us, but then we're also going to do regular visits and just come and check in on you. Here's the clinic. We not only just do inpatient discharges, we work with physicians on complicated cases. We do compound yeah. yeah. so immunizations recently. We also do medication therapy management. And the exciting new addition this year has been diabetes education. thought that it was a wonderful breakthrough because this person began to realize that it was up to them to control their disease. I mean that to me was just huge. They also really are just now understanding how much power they have, how much better they can feel, how much better everything can be if they are more informed and take more control over what they do. At the third visit, he made a tremendous improvement. His A1C from the first to the second has gone from above 10 to the third visit at 7.5, which wow. is huge, huge. And he lost a significant amount of weight. He was much more physically active. His diet had, I mean, he'd made major changes in his life and um, he was very proud of it as well. After I finally met with her a second time, it was keeping, keeping me accountable. It's almost like I didn't want to disappoint her. Mm -hmm. And so I, I cut off all sweets. I started exercising more and basically just started what I should have been doing to start with. Uh, yeah, so just being accountable and not, uh, not somebody else wanting to see you succeed and you're just, okay. if you're not doing anything, you feel like you've let them down. Pharmacists can provide these types of services. So we can provide diabetes education and management services. We can make a difference. You can see changes, you know, and better outcomes as a result of that pharmacist being a part of the team. The more people you have helping manage that patient, the better control you're going to have of their medicines, their eating habits, their lifestyle. It's not just your patient, it can be our patient. I've always known pharmacists can help a tremendous amount, and I use them when I've got their number on speed dial. Uh, but everybody needs to be willing to ask for help, willing to accept help, uh, and then willing to say, what do I need to do to get a team together to make my patients have the best possible outcomes that I can. It takes a village to raise a kid, but it takes an entire community to keep your patients healthy, and I think we need to know that.